Alright, what up everyone? Zuna right here coming at you with another episode of Moves. We're gonna review a team fight, a play from professional gaming. This today is gonna be LCK Move. I think it's a very interesting team fight that I'm gonna show you. We're gonna try to analyze it together and see what went wrong or what went very well for the team that actually won. Uh, so I'm gonna review everything, tell you what happened, and uh, and yeah. So let's get into the video. Uh, I'm gonna show you the play one time without saying anything, and then we're gonna go back into it and we're gonna see what happened. Maybe do some slow mo or, or just go back into specific point that I wanna insist on. So let's play. On eating a bunch of damage, Smith, though, so it's the SKT. S so it's S uh, it's S K. So <laughs> KT is playing against exactly Ever Eight, and this is big KT team fight around there. And this time, Ever Eight will have zero chance of winning this fight. Keen gets away with his life, but a big fight for KT. Okay, so just so you know, it's LCK guys. KT is playing against Ever8 in a best of 5, I believe, 1-1. One, one. They're fighting at Baron at 23 minutes in the game. So you see, it's like, I don't know, it's bonkers. Like, everything happens at the same time. It looks like a big, it just looks like a big wombo combo, right? So let's just look at what happened uh, step by step and let's analyze what happens. So, the first thing to know is just to analyze the gold. Uh, what happens, the turrets, the minimap, just to see a little bit, just to have a sense of what the game is about. So right now KT is, I mean, KT is dominating, we can see the minimap, it's pushing bot, it's pushing top, uh, they overall have way more turrets than the enemy, they have uh, about 3, 3.5 uh, thousand gold at 23 minutes, which is not a lot, but the fact that they go barren shows also that they're dominating. Overall, both have very good composition of teams. Uh, it's everything is everything looks good here as far as I'm concerned. And the Baron is ishinated. The most important thing to know right now uh, is that well, they don't have a lot of flashes. They actually don't have any flashes. So Kami, Sejuani, Talia, Varys, Varys who doesn't have a dash, Brom, all of them don't have any summoner spell actually. We just have the clans on Talia and the smite on Sejuani in case she's trying to steal. But that's pretty much it. And on the enemy team, so on KT side, you have a Jarvan, you have a Galio, and you have a Kalista that can like bump a group of people. So you see how when we saw the combo earlier and everything happened with all those bombs and all those ultimate going on, it, you're like, okay, nobody flashed out, but actually nobody has a uh, nobody had a flash. You have to know that in competitive level, they know everyone's flash. So KD knows precisely who has flash, who doesn't have flash. They time everything perfectly. Let me just turn off my Skype. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. So let's play a little bit and see what happens. So right on the first mistake from e EW is to not figure that there's four people here and that there's someone missing. So you can see they have a they have ward here. They have like this one here is canceled, but they have a pink ward here that can that has vision on this, and they know that the redemption is being used. But they also know that there's only four members here and that there's someone that has gotta be here. Someone has gotta be somewhere, right? And they underestimate that and they start rushing in. They start like going this way for some reason. And without really expecting, like they're not gonna check they're not gonna check this push, they're not gonna put a spell, they're not gonna put a ward. And Jarvin is just gonna wait. So Smeb is a very, very smart player, like one of the most renowned top laner in Korea and in the world. So he's not stupid. So he's just one way, he's like, Okay, are they actually coming in? And right now you're like, Okay. So there's a Jarvan, we don't know where he is, and they're going in on the Baron, super packed, like really packed, like they're onto each other. Brom is starting to sidestep a little bit, which is really like good or bad. That like I understand the decision. He's probably gonna lend a ward here or just check something over there. But overall, like I don't know what those three are doing. Like they should be more divided. Malring here should be maybe on this side or maybe coming on from the other side. Like, he should be doing something else, just not to, or just being in front, like, just dashing in in front here, or just waiting, or just telling uh, the ADC and and the mid to just wait a little bit so that Sejuani can go, like, in the front lane. But no, they decide to go all together at the same time. Here, Eli is just going this way, he was probably going to ward here, but Jarvan attacks, 
perfectly you can see like the flag dropping here three people are going to get bumped and well this is where the, the terror happens so there's no flash there's no flash like they're not going to go anywhere Varys cannot do anything he doesn't have any dash or whatever uh, and it's just going to be terrible like the, the Kami can't do anything. The Sejuani can't do anything. The Talia is already dead, actually. I'm my bad for that. But it, this is just a way to show you how, like, a team fight cannot, like, I, I mean, there's always a way to understand, like, okay, here they had to go to Baron, like, otherwise the game would have been done. Uh, this can be true or not true. I'm just trying to tell you, like, what happened in the team fight and what could have been done. Uh, know that pro gamers always look at their replays. They try to see what they did wrong and stuff. And this could be a way for them to, like, this could be a way for you guys to understand what they do when they watch their replays. So right now, the, the mistake is to not define a front lane to a back lane and to not have a knowledge about where Javan could be. I feel like th this questioning wasn't made and they just were panicked to just... Uh, they were panicking, they were like, oh, they're going to do Baron, that's it. They were not even thinking that Jarvan could be somewhere dangerous. So they start to step into the river, into the Baron, and, well, the rest is history. They're going to get bumped three times in a row with Jarvan, with Galio, and with Deft Ultimate uh, on uh, Mata. So three bumps, they can't do anything, and they're going to get a 3 for 0 and then they're going to kill Kenny after. So you see, nothing they can do. Uh, Death gets a little bit like greedy here on the side, giving uh, Kami some some damage, but no, no one's gonna die. They're fine, and they're just gonna get like absolutely crushed. And it was an interesting fight. I think it was a very interesting fight to just review. Uh, this is Korea. This is like top level stuff. There's nothing better in the world than them. And I just think it's like this is the mistake. It's just like the mistake is here. It's really like. Eli could have warded or could have just gone there before those three decided to advance. They had 5,000 5, health on the Baron. I think it was... I mean, I don't think they were still the Baron just because Kalista just has the best execution on a, on a single target. So you might as well take your time or you might as well just like try to contest but like not be so aggressive right now like... You, you never want to be packed like that. If there's one thing you want to take out of this video is that no matter what, if you don't have the vision and they have such a comp that gives them like gap closers and just bumps and combos and just dashes in like Jarvan, like Gragas, like, like Galio, you never want to be too packed to your team. So let's say you're playing Sokyo and you're the Varus. Maybe step back a little bit. Step back a little bit. Just wait for things to happen. Stay closer to your Braum. Maybe that would be a better decision. Even if you feel safe here around your Kami and Sejuani, you're not so safe. Like, you don't know what's going to happen here. Like, you know who is here, but you know that Jarvan isn't here. Like, you're smarter than them. You're like, okay, where's Jarvan? He can definitely be here. I don't have vision here. I don't have vision here. I need to know what's going on before I can step in. Here, he's like, okay, I feel confident. I have my Sejuani, I have my Kami, I have my Brom on the side. I can just go in, no problem. And, and yeah, and that, that happened. Like, he, he, like, there's nothing they can do. There's no flash, there's nothing. There's, like, there's absolutely the nothing they can do. It's a triple the bump, the and they're going to get ace, and they lost the game after. I don't think... I'm not saying that they lost the game because of that. I'm just saying that this was a mistake that caused them definitely a Baron and almost an Ace. And small this like small thinking like this could actually save your life. When you don't have vision, but you have vision somewhere of some enemies, try to think where the other enemies are. So like Jarvan was most likely going to be in this bush or on the other side uh, close to the blue, the blue buff. So right here in the mini map, right here or right here. Unfortunately, they didn't think about it, I think, and that's what caused them team fight, and the triple bomb was insane. So yeah, two things to take out of this video. Make sure you assess where people could be, even if you don't have vision on everyone, and start thinking about like where the danger can come from, especially if you're an ADC or just a fragile target, a carry. And the second thing is never stay packed. Like, don't allow your enemies to wombo combo, especially if they have so many... Uh, AOE damage or AOE control. So yeah, that was it for this analysis of this team fight. 
KT versus Error 8. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to see more of this, if you want to see a specific play or a specific team fight you want me to do a video about, let me know in the comment down below and sh shoot me a link uh, on Twitter. Links on the comments on YouTube aren't really, I think they go to spam directly. So shoot me a tweet, maybe, add Zonabra, and I'll take care of it. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. I'll see you for the next one. Cheers. Okay, no mistakes, but I'm burning out. 21, will I make it out? 18, we would talk a lot at that coffee shop where I met you at. Fast forward to the good times, I strayed away. For the past two years, I thought I had to please others, thought I had to be something, but I had to be myself. This my life song, this my motivation. Yeah, I've done wrong. Life been complicated for me. I can't walk around with any.